Without me, my dad. I did go to the SF ball without yeah. you. I took I took our Sarah, our, our, took our Sarah, Sarah. training, <laughs> our tricky in training Sarah, yeah. mm -hmm. um, who you went to DST with without me. Yeah. Oh, no, I just had a baby. <laughs> um, yeah, we had a great time. We it did. was it was really good. Um, mm -hmm. It was a very different event. We didn't get to go for that long, unfortunately. But um, oh, I booked. I I haven't booked because. I a very boring story, but I'm about to book the hotel for next year. <laughs> the the Grand Harbour Hotel, Ooh. which is the oh, no, we have we're not staying. That's okay, great. sorry, <laughs> break it too gently. We're staying in the Holiday Inn over the road. Uh. <laughs> um, <laughs> sorry, um, hotel. Yeah, 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 Holiday Inn. It's not the Holiday Inn Express. Oh, okay. <laughs> um, mm -hmm. Yeah, basically the the Grand Harbour Hotel, which is absolutely lovely. It's a former De Vere Hotel. Nice. And that's where the event is. It's sold out completely. <gasps> like, I even asked for some of the really expensive rooms. I was like, I don't, you know, just. We didn't know. You know. <laughs> nope, all gone. Every Wowzers. bit of it. And I was like, well, where's Jonathan Frakes staying? Because, you know. Yeah. You want to show up? <laughs> <laughs> um, I've been to a lot of events where he's meant to be in there. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so that room might open up now. Yeah. He's going to be there. It's going to be great. Yes. We're going to have a good time. Mm -hmm. um, but all those rooms have gone, but there is a waiting list. We are on a waiting list. Oh, okay. And I've booked us a non, like a flexible ticket to yeah. Holiday Inn so mm -hmm. we can cancel that and go over the road. Yeah. Um, so yeah, it's, it's, a, it's a very different event to the okay. other ones we've been to, mm -hmm. but I didn't feel like we really got immersed in it as much as we wanted. Yeah, but so hence the hotel this time. Yeah, we're going to have to stay, even though we only live down the road, mm -hmm. there's something about being at the event. Exactly. And it's the two hours sleep you get when you stay in a hotel room. <laughs> exactly, yeah, and oh my gosh, the good folk at um, the USS Rikers crew, the um, Rikers Beard, sorry, the USS Rikers Beard crew, mm -hmm. Are creating this online version of Cards Against Humanity, a Star awesome. Trek version, which is like we've always talked about. It is definitely, it, but it sounds hilarious. I so we have to play that. Mm -hmm. um, <laughs> that'll be really good fun. <laughs> oh god, did you hear? There's another rumor going around last week about there being another TV series. Oh, did oh. you did you read about it? The um, Star Trek Federation. No. Oh my god, it's amazing. It apparently was a pitch made about ten years ago called mm -hmm. Star Trek Federation. It's it was based. Ooh, quite a long way. I think it was like the year, th um, oh, I don't know, year 3000 or something. Wow. Quite far in the future. Yeah. It sounds really good. It sounds like Bajor never went with the Federation, but mm. it has the Ferengi oversee all their finances and their okay. economy. Yeah. But, but the Ferengi are respected and Vulcan and Romulus are working on their unification. Ooh. And the Federation's kind of gone a bit... I guess it's gonna be an imperial overstretch. It's just a bit plodding and yeah. all this and and then but then but then they had an officer who becomes captain of the Enterprise and his name he's, he's a descendant of Captain Kirk and I thought no oh, why why do no, that why do that exactly make it entirely fresh mm. we'd still love it yeah and I would say there's only one Captain Kirk but that's not true no <laughs> no <laughs> you know what I mean though yeah. There's only one... William Shatner. Yeah. There's only one in Captain Kirk in this universe. Yes. Yeah. But I guess the option is they could do it in the other universe. <laughs> yeah. Oh, all these universes. It's, it's, so. oh, it's confusing. <laughs> have you seen the advert for Star Trek Renegades as well? I have seen it. Yeah, it does look think? good. It does look good. Yeah? Yeah. I quite like I mean, I'm not really into these non-official Star Treks. Yeah, they but... are the hit and miss. Yeah, but I... I do quite like the look of that, and I like all. The, I like the way you look at it. And you think, oh, it's Admiral Paris. Yes. Oh my God, it's Chekhov, and you know, you see familiar faces. And yeah. Um, I like that. I like that. I, yeah. I'm intrigued. I want. I want to see more of it. Yes. Bring us more. Yes. We'll, we'll see more, and then we'll decide. Show us <laughs> the whole series, and then we'll yeah. come up. Yeah. Netflix it for us, <laughs> so we can just watch it. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Okay, how about a time, how about a what the fuck? Oh yes, 
It's been a little while, but bringing it back. Yeah, because we kind of, we've got the spot, we look at Zachary Quinto's tweets yes. and try and decipher them because we're Most, simple people. Yeah, um, he's he mu he works in a higher intellectual plane. He does. A much higher <laughs> intellectual <laughs> plane. <laughs> yeah. We don't understand it. No. So, anyway, I've, 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 he doesn't tweet so much, but he's quite big on Instagram. Yes. Um, and we'll just give you an example of one of the pictures he he uh, Instagrammed. That, what's, I don't know, there's probably a term for that, yeah, I don't know what it is. Yeah, sorry, yeah. teach us. But it says, landscape of departure. And this is the picture. What the Spock? I don't, yeah. Is he in a plane? A train? I don't know, but I don't understand. Did he upload it by accident? Is that meant to be a beam of light? Is he being taken up? <laughs> Beaming up, perhaps. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know, but 15,000.7 people like this and understand it. We, we don't get it. So if you press like, if you're one of the 15,000 people. Tell us, yes. Tell us what the fuck it means, because yeah. we don't know. <laughs> <laughs> and just as a disclaimer, we love Zachary Quinto. We do, honestly do, yeah. We Absolutely just, adore him, and we yeah, probably like the picture too, to yeah. be completely honest. We just having a bit of fun. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yes. <laughs> so, I was, um, just on our theme of rambling. I like it. Go I, for it, Sam. When I was pregnant, so I'd keep rambling on about the fact that I had a baby, mm -hmm. I was watching lots of Star Trek, because I watch episodes for inspiration or mm -hmm. life events, so you yes. can sometimes watch Star Trek with a whole different perspective. Oh yeah, you you've know. got a life crisis similar to the yeah. one in Star Trek, you watch that episode yeah, exactly. and it helped you through it. Exactly, so um, yeah, I kind of watch a lot of parenting episodes. Oh, of course, yes. Mm -hmm. But I have a question. <laughs> <laughs> it's a bit embarrassing. Yeah. But the episode, is it, it's before, is it before and after where Kez is travelling back through time and and then in one at one scene she finds herself in a shuttlecraft with Tom Paris having a baby. Yes. But the baby's coming out her back. But she's pushing like it's coming out of a very small orifice. <laughs> <laughs> well maybe she has a really small orifice on her back. <laughs> maybe she does. That's what I thought. So I was thinking <laughs> you trying to figure out some things. Um yeah, like how does that work? <laughs> That's gonna be a good karma sutra. Yeah, that will. I honestly think it would be easier if it was there. <laughs> oh no, less bending maybe. I don't know. You wouldn't have to look at Neelix. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> um, so yeah. So please tell me what you're showing. No, no. <laughs> That's all we got time for today. Yep. This one comes with a big exclaim disclaimer on it. <laughs> so if you can figure out how that works, give us a text. <laughs> yeah. um, or if you're Zachary Quinto, paint us a picture. <laughs> oh, that would be, um, I want to say amazing, but... <laughs> It'll be something. <laughs> yeah. It would be worth a lot of money, is what it yeah. would. Yeah. Yeah. Cool. Thanks. Take care, everyone. Bye-bye.